Okay, so I forgot to film the intro to this video, so I'll make this the intro. So today is just basically basically gonna be timing my motor. And so I appreciate every like, comment, subscribe that you guys give to me. Like. I mean, this is just me doing my own thing, my own hobby, and just to see like just support and like some feedback from you guys is it means the world to me. So if you guys can do that for me, I I don't know what to say. <laughs> so enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys next time. So we're back here in the garage, and where we left off was I told you guys about a part. The cam caps was actually the other side. I needed to get fixed up. Um, right about here, you can see some weld spots. Basically, what they did for that part, they pressed in a machine sleeve of stainless steel. The weld, uh, I forgot, I think it cracked, and so they had to like weld it around, but everything's all good now. But that wasn't the thing that was holding me back, the thing that was holding me back was actually this half moon right here. This little, this little thing right here. Okay, so whenever the motor rotates, this is the crankshaft right here. And whenever the motor rotates, this this moves. And without this half moon, this gear would never move with the crankshaft. So that's what that does. And I needed that. That way, I can time the motor. Time the motor. This dot dotted line is for the crankshaft. That lines up right there. And these lines, see that it lines up with that tick, and it lines up with the back of the time cover. Same thing over here. It's not it's not pretty loose right now, but as long as you get right on the right tooth for at least for this side, then this side it's a little bit more difficult just for the fact that these valves are stuck open, so that it can be it's a little bit harder. As you see right there, it stops me from opening the valve. So we need to get the tools to get it lined up right there, and then after we do that, we put the tension on. So it's kind of a two two man job. At least the way that I'm doing it, so we couldn't really record it, but basically what we did, I turned this in a way, and then Jose would hold the tension right there, and then I'm going to try and see if I can put on the rest of the timing components. This side is still in time, as you can see, so I'm going to put on the rest of the timing components, and then, yeah. So I kind of forgot I had this Company 23 tool. Basically what it is, is just like, you can independently move. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, so you can independently move each cam gear because like I said these ones are stuck they're open a little bit. So you wanna keep one you wanna jump teeth between each cam gear, but you can't do that while keeping it on tension, so this helps out a lot. So there's probably a better method than what we just did, but I mean, there's only one way to you either time the motor right or you really don't. So I got this tensioner on. Torque to spec, as you can see. Until a knuckle start popping. And then we just double check our work, make sure. Yeah, like I, like I said earlier, like this, the tick is lined up with the belt, lined up with the back of the cover. Same thing over here. And the reason why those aren't so parallel right now is just, just because there's no, the tensioner is not un, unpinned yet. So that's why. And this thing is nice here. Over here too, the tick is lined up with the with the belt and slightly off just for the fact that there's no tension on there yet. And the same thing over here, just slightly off. Everything's gonna be slightly off just because the tension is not on there. So now so now that we're sure that the belt is at least lined up with the with the covers or with the gears, we can take out that thing, that tool. And now we can pull this pin. 
Okay, so we already time, timed it up a little bit and I already took off this, this bolt because we need to put on the, all the covers on first and then after that we need to put on the crank pulley and then the bolt so that's why that has to come off and you can tell it's a little bit off just because it's not completely dead center right here just because I had to, had to loosen it and when you loosen it, it slightly spins back the gear so that's why it's like that but right before it was all perfectly in time so I'm not too sure where we left off that, but we definitely stopped recording like about like an hour ago. We were just messing around trying to figure out the way the throttle body would fit up because I saw other people they ran the this um, uh, the motor on the other side. That's why I ran it like that. But it looks like for me at least it'll fit better if it's on this side. It's a little tight fit, but it's all good. And then we ran our our AOS lines and our crank case lines. Everything's all buttoned up, tightened. Everything's, I know it's kind of looks like a mess back here, but it's all good. These fittings, they're, they're all gonna be vacuum lines to whatever I need. I'm gonna use one for the brake, brake booster and then one for the, like boost, the boost gauge and ball valve and such. 